Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to another Maximizer Brand Monday with Marquis Brayton. So excited that you are with me today because it's a new day. It's a new week. It's a new episode of the Maximize Your Brand, Maximize Your Brand Monday. Each and every Monday, I come on around 1 o'clock Central Standard Time just to share with you all around how to build a business around your personal brand, leveraging your skills, your talents, your gifts, your expertise, and really how to create revenue and income utilizing something that is innate within you. I am Markeith Brayton, your host for today, and so excited each and every week just to be sharing with you around this concept. I am a speaker, personal brand strategist, as well as the host of the Maximize Your Brand podcast, where we're all about helping subject matter experts to grow their brand, grow their influence so that it impacts their income. Let me say that again. We are so excited about always helping subject matter experts to grow their brand and their influence so that it impacts their income. That's what we're all about in the Maximize Your Brand space. So as you come into the room or into the space, go ahead, type your name in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. We are streaming this episode across multiple platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So thank you for joining. Don't forget to type your name in the comments. And let me know where you're tuning in from today. Today, we have the topic of 10 golden rules of personal branding. 10 golden rules of personal branding. 10 golden rules of personal branding. And so I want you to engage, interact, ask questions as I go throughout today's live sharing with you these 10 golden rules. But before we get started, before we get started, I want to share with you a way that you can become a part of my community by texting, texting personal brand, all one word to 77222. This allows you to get notifications when I'm going live. It allows you to get notifications about webinars and educational opportunities that I may have going on. And sometimes I just want to send you a text of encouragement as well. So if you'd like to be a part of my email list and the brand maximizer community, just text personal brand, all one word to seven, seven, two, two, two personal brand, all one word to seven, seven, two, two, two. Man, these weeks are going by extremely fast. These Mondays are rolling around each and every week extremely fast. So thank you for for joining. Patricia uh, EO, thank you for being on as well there on Facebook and Patricia on LinkedIn. Thank you for participating today. So today we're going to talk about the 10 golden rules of personal branding. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been giving you the foundation around personal branding. I gave you a two-part series on what does it really mean to maximize your brand and how you can leverage your brand, whether you are a corporate entity employee or whether you're an entrepreneur who's building your brand online. But at the end of the day, what we all do know is that we all have a personal brand. And last week, I shared with you a quote from Jeff Bezos, who's the owner and founder of Amazon, he said, your personal brand is what people have to say about you when you're not in the room. That's good, right? Your personal brand is what people have to say about you when you're not in the room. So what is your reputation? One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible talks about that your reputation precedes you. It goes before you. What is it that people say about you when you're not in the room? What is it that people say about you after they experience you? What is it that people say about you when they engage with you on a regular basis? That is your personal brand. And the great thing about personal branding is that we can be intentional about creating the brand that we want to present. That our brand, I like to say, is really your purpose on full display to the world. And today we're going to talk about some golden rules of personal 
branding. So make sure you're, you're taking notes. Please feel free to type these in the comments as well. Uh, in in LinkedIn or on Facebook or YouTube, feel free to do that. I'll be checking the comments here and there as I go throughout tonight's, this afternoon, not tonight's, this afternoon's live. So let's hop on in there and share about these 10 personal branding tips. And basically, I was doing some research and reading, and these tips come from an article I read on Forbes, and the author of this article is... Let's see. Her name is Goldie Chan. Goldie Chan is the author of this particular article. And I pulled some of these points directly from this particular Forbes article. And I'll elaborate some on each point. Each point, we will have some elaboration. So golden rule number one. Golden rule number one is have a focus that you must have a focus for your brand. So for particularly, if I was using myself as an example, a focus for me is personal branding and helping people to learn how to package their subject matter expertise online in order to create product and services as a consultant, coach, or speaker. And so my focus is really working with high-level individuals who are experts in their industry, in their field, in their business arena, and then teaching them how do you package and monetize that knowledge, that expertise, that experience as a coach, speaker, or a consultant? How do you begin to really market your message and yourself so that you are seen as the authority in that niche? So as we are going through today's live, tell me, what do you believe your focus would be for your brand? What is your focus for your brand? Type those in the comments. What is your focus for your brand? Share your focus for your brand. Everybody has to have clarity around what it is that they are, what they are offering. Everybody has to have clarity around what they're offering. EO, thank you from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us today. Patricia, thank you for joining us today as well from Houston, Texas. What will be your focus? Type those in the comments. What's your focus for your brand? Golden rule number two. Golden rule number two is you have to be genuine. That... Personal branding allows you to fully be yourself authentically. Authentically, you get to be yourself when it comes to personal branding. Here's what Ms. Chan says. She says that there's an easy way to have an original personal brand, and that is to be genuine and authentic. Nobody wants a cheap copy, but everybody loves when a person is authentic to who they are. That's what I love about personal branding because it allows you to be in alignment with your purpose, with your passion, with what it is that you want to offer the world, what it is that you want to make an impact in the world with. As a speaker, as a coach, I know that my brand is all about inspiration, encouragement, uplift, Motivation. Golden rule number two is to be genuine with who you are. Utilizing the gifts, the talents that you already have, packaging those things and leveraging it as a business online or leveraging it as a employee in the corporate space. Your personal brand should help you to stand out from other individuals that may be going up for a similar job that you're going up for. Being intentional around your personal brand and being genuine is so important. Golden rule number one was have a focus. Golden rule number two is be genuine. Be genuine. Be sure to share your comments in the comment section so that we can 
see if you have questions or statements around these particular tips in today's live. Be genuine and make sure that you have a focus. Make sure you have a focus. Golden rule number three. Golden rule number three. Tell a story. Here's the thing. We all have a story to tell. We all have experiences in our lives that have helped us to get to the point of where we are today. We all have those experiences. And so you want to be able to tell a story with your brand. If your personal brand isn't telling a story, you've already lost half of your potential audience. What's your story? Part of my story, I shared it on my page not too long ago. Part of my story is being laid off in 2014. April of 2014 to be exactly exactly eight years ago this month. Eight years ago this month, I was laid off my job. And a part of that story has to do with why I launched my speaking and coaching business and the passion that I had around helping people to be in alignment with their own purpose and teaching them how can I leverage my skills for myself. Nothing wrong with having a job, nothing wrong with climbing the corporate ladder. But if you decide that you want to work for yourself, then you really need to learn how to properly brand yourself as an expert and authority and how to properly market yourself to individuals, corporations, and opportunities in order to do what it is that you love, in order to live the life that you deserve. It's a part of my story. Being laid off was the inspiration to me launching my business as a speaker and a coach in the area of personal branding, personal development, helping you to grow your influence, helping you to grow your personal brand so that it impacts your income. What's your story? What's your story? One of the best ways Ms. Chan says to tell your story is through written content or video. I love doing video. That's why I come on live stream each and every week on Mondays. That's why I love doing reels to tell a story. What's your story? What's your story that you connect to your brand that you share as your message? My message is it comes from a quote from the late Dr. Miles Monroe, and that message is, is that the greatest failure in life is to be successful at the wrong assignment. You have an assignment on your life, and it's a part of my purpose to help you get in alignment with that assignment and leverage that as an opportunity for yourself to live the life that you crave. Golden rule number three, tell a story with your brand. Tell a story with your brand. Golden rule number four, be consistent. Be consistent. Now, if I'm going to be honest with you, this is where I probably have had the most challenge is consistency. You get busy. You're doing a lot of different things. Sometimes certain things fall by the wayside. Sometimes it's just a challenge in coming up with new content. As a matter of fact, today was one of those days where I was like, am I going to do the live? Am I not going to do the live? I'm not really fully as prepared as I'd like to be. But I told myself that I was going to be consistent each and every Monday. And I started this at the beginning of April. Each and every Monday, I'm going to show up live, sharing, teaching, encouraging for Maximize Your Brand Monday taking you on the journey with me each and every week. So you got to be consistent. You have to be consistent. Ms. Chan says in this article, she says, being consistent is very similar to having a narrow focus. It's much easier to get recognized for one topic if you consistently create content and brand voice around it that the more content that you consistently create around your subject matter expertise, the more you become the authority, the more that people 
align you with that particular topic. The more people know what to call you for, the more people who, who know what to book you for, the more people recognize you as the subject matter expert and the authority in that particular area. Through your consistency, the more consistent we are, the more confidence we gain. The more consistent we are, the more educated we are on our subject matter. Consistency is queen. Clarity is king. Consistency is queen. Somebody type that in the comments for me. Clarity is king. Consistency is queen. When it comes to building your brand, especially online, especially online, consistency is queen. Clarity or focus is king. Number five, golden rule number five, be ready to fail. And I might want to change that. I may want to change that to be ready to fall. Failure really is a mindset that we never fail, but sometimes we do fall. But the thing about falling is that we have an opportunity to get back up. The thing about falling is that we have an opportunity to get back up. Donnie McClurkin had that great song, We Fall Down But We Get Up. That even in building your brand, you will fall sometimes. You will fall sometimes. But as long as you get back up, as long as you get back up, you don't really fail. You learn. This is good. That you don't really fail. It's an opportunity to learn to start again a better way. That's what Albert Einstein said. He said that he fell over 10,000 times. But every time was a new opportunity to get back up and try again. And what you will be known for is not your failures or your falls, but become known for the thing of getting back up and actually trying again until you reach your goal. Golden rule in building a personal brand number five is be ready to fall, but always know you can get back up. Always know you can get back up. Golden rule number six, create a positive impact. Your personal brand should be impacting others. It should be impacting the lives of other people. It should be making an impact in the arena or in the area, in the niche that you have chosen to function in. After you've developed your personal brand over a period of time, there are generally two ways to continue to build your brand according to this article in Forbes. You can either hop over others and burn bridges or steadily grow a community. A community is so big. It is the number one thing that I know I need to do more of building a community around my brand. One of the great things about building a personal brand and having a community is that many people might meet you or start following you for one particular thing. And you might shift from that one particular thing, but because they have bought into your vision and your personal brand, nine times out of 10, they will shift to you to whatever the next thing is. Having a community is so powerful. Having a community is so powerful. I know individuals who have built their million-dollar business because they have a community of individuals who believe in the vision, who really want to support whatever it is that they're doing, whether on one time when they started following, they was following because of fitness, and then the person shifted into business coaching. So now they're following them in business coaching. And then maybe they made another pivot into fashion. You always have remnants of your community that will follow you in the various areas in which your personal brand may take you. And that's the great thing about personal branding is that you have an opportunity to shift and pivot 
when you see the need or feel the inspiration to do so. But every time you want to make sure that you are consistent and that you create a positive impact, that you create a positive impact. Golden rule number six, create a positive impact. Somebody's trying to call me during the live stream. Doing doing a live, let me let them know. Positive impact. Golden rule number seven, golden rule number seven. Follow a successful example. Follow a successful example. Now, are there individuals that you follow that you believe you would want a pattern after? Are there individuals that you follow that you want to pattern after? So, for example, there are great personal brands out there, Oprah, Great personal brand. You have the Kardashians who built a personal brand and then turned that personal brand into a business. You have speakers like Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Jack Canfield, who build a brand and then they leverage their brand to sell books, to sell courses, to sell different things. So who is an example or someone you can model or follow successfully. People interested in personal branding need to start marketing themselves like celebrities and influential people. Now, here's the thing, that you have to be comfortable in putting yourself out there. You have to be, definitely have to be comfortable in putting yourself out there. That you can't be shy. You gotta put your purpose your personality on full display. Put it on full display. Who are individuals that you would model your personal brand after? Is a great question. And be creative. Like you don't have to be like anybody else, but be yourself authentically and then identify individual models who are doing things on the level that you want to do it on in a way that you would like to do it. That's what, that's how I like to phrase it. Who's doing what you want to do on the level that you want to do it on in a way that you would like to do it. That's what I mean when I say follow successful, follow a successful example. That's personal branding. Golden rule number eight, golden rule number eight, we're winding down here to, Two more. Golden golden rule number eight is to live your brand. So this is where social media really comes into place. This is where social media comes into place. That you get to share the journey with other people around your brand. I love actually doing this because, you know, sometimes people meet you when you're in your 20th chapter and they try to compare it to your to their chapter one. But if you take people on the journey, they get to see your chapter one all the way to where you are today. They get to see some of the bad videos, some of the bad speaking engagements, some of the bad posts, you know. They get to see the opportunities of you maybe doing a webinar and not so many people attend it. They get to see when you only had five followers. (laughs) They get to see when you make posts and you only have one like and it was you. (laughs) So you get to take people on the journey with you by living out your brand. I love to share when I'm at conferences or speaking on stages because I'm getting to live out the brand that I'm creating. Go to rule number eight, live your brand. Golden rule number nine, Let other people tell your story. This is so good. The best form of marketing 
is the word of mouth. That when people that you've worked with, clients that you've had, opportunities where you have been able to share your subject matter expertise in rooms and on stages, when they are able to tell your story, when they're able to call their friends, share with their colleagues all about the experience that they had with you, it is the best form of marketing. It is the best form of marketing. Let other people tell the story. Let other people tell the story about, yeah, I know that Mark Keith, he, he got laid off. He was climbing the corporate ladder, had a great position, but he decided to bet on himself. His story is so powerful because I know those days myself, sitting in the office, daydreaming about what I think or what I like or what I desire life to be. Can I believe in myself enough to bet on myself like Marquis? Let other people tell the story. Let other people tell the story. And golden rule number 10, golden rule number 10, leave a legacy. We all want to leave a legacy. We all want to leave an indelible mark in the areas of which we have passion and purpose for. That we all will get to the point where we transition away from this earth And we want to make sure that we've left an impact and a legacy for people to talk about long after, long after we have shifted or transitioned. Here's what Ms. Chan says in this particular article. Once you built your personal brand with a reputation and community behind it, the next step is to think about the legacy that you will leave behind. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind with your brand? What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? A personal brand is a lifelong project that constantly evolves and changes. Even the experts who build or enhance the biggest brands in the business know that there are no hard set rules for creating a personal brand. Believe it or not, you're creating one right now. What will your legacy be after you are done? Let's run through these real quick. The 10 golden rules of personal branding. Number one, have a focus. Have a focus. Number two, be genuine. Be genuine and authentic to who you are. Number three, tell a story. Number four, be consistent. Number five, be ready to fail. Or like I said earlier, fall, but get back up. Number six, create a positive impact. Number seven, follow a successful example. Number eight, live your brand. Number nine, let other people tell your story. And number 10, leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Woo, 10 golden rules of personal branding. Such a great, great lesson to learn and to understand when it comes to personal branding. Once again, if you're not a part of my community, I would love for you to be a part of the community. All you have to do is to text, text us, personal brand, all one word, to 77222. Personal brand, all one word, to 77222. That will add you to our text community. You'll get an automated response to join the email list as well. And hopefully you will decide to join. Also, each and every week, we have brand new podcasts in the Maximize Your Brand podcast. All you have to do is search in iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher, Google Play Music for Maximize Your Brand podcast with Marquise Brayton. Go take a listen. I have over 200 episodes sitting in there ready for you to listen to. And leave a rating and review and let me know how things were and your experience were. So thank you for joining me today. Let me go check the comments and see if we have any questions, any comments today. Seeing no comments right now, 
I appreciate you joining me for this live stream. Maximize your brand Monday, each and every Monday right here at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, Pretty soon, I'm going to be taking call-ins, call-ins on the show. So if you want to call in and ask your question, that will be available pretty soon. But until then, just remember this. Always shoot for the top because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. Take care.